Music is another area. As somebody who grew up in America, uh, coming from a musical family, I have so many lyrics that I wish I could sue the people that took that space of my brain. Songs used to be like, if you go back to the 1940s and 30s, they were innocent lyrics, mostly innocent lyrics. Some of them had subtle things, but people couldn't work them out unless they were sophisticated. But most of them were just simple lyrics, right? Now, you, you can't even listen to the lyrics because they're so disgusting. They are so filthy. And Fakhruddin al-Razi, in his commentary, says about the verse in the Quran where shaitan, you know, that you will try to seduce them with your voice, he says by giving them foul lyrics that their children will memorize and repeat. That's in Mufatih al-Ghayb. That was in the 13th century. America used to be a relatively moral country. It used to have moral values. They believed in God. They didn't use drugs by and large, right? 2.5 hours per day for teenagers in the United States listening to music. 2.5 hours per day. One direction. Let's go crazy, crazy, crazy till we see the sun. I know we only met, but let's pretend it's love. And never, never, never stop for anyone, meaning your parents or God. It's tonight, let's get some. So let's pretend it's love. In other words, it's lust, but let's pretend it's love and just get some. This is promoting free sexuality. References to drug or alcohol in songs, pop 9%, rock 14%, hip hop, R&B hip hop 20%, country 36%, rap 77%. And we've got all these kids listening to rap.